I might have to indulge here in a second. Men, when you are in your 20s and 30s, are you eating smart to keep your prostate and your bones healthy? What about your 40s and 50s, your 60s and beyond? Do you know what foods to focus on as you get older? She does. <laughs> Dietitian Kim Galliaz turned to her husband, Jeff, for inspiration on eating through the decades and started him helping him, yes, right? Yes. Eat smarter in his 40s. Yeah. And I understand in a minute we're going to talk, we're going to have a guessing game about yeah, Jim and Daniel. Game. Let's save that for but last. But yeah, so let's, why did you want to do this right now? Well, because I feel that it's important that men realize that how they're going to be when they're in their 60s, 70s, mm -hmm. and 80s depends on what they're doing now, no matter what the age. So let's set the stage. Okay. And one of the things I taught Jeff was that you set the stage with your bone structure, mm -hmm. whether they're strong or weak, in your 20s, mm -hmm. okay? So let's start doing calcium like cheese and the other thing prostate health cooked processed tomato products like actually have more you are so smart thank you I've so much I learned that from you uh, so they actually have more than these fresh tomatoes so that means your pizza sauce your pasta Ooh, sauce good. all your canned tomatoes and yes you can have pizza because it's filled with those nutrient rich food groups and I actually grilled it I used the Kroger pouch pack made the dough Easy. put the dough on the grill flipped it and then add the toppings and there you go you got lycopene calcium and protein for bone structure okay and my understanding is we're going to talk colon next and yeah. I know that some people have issues I'm not going to talk about which one, but can we dive into here and talk to us a little bit about this? Okay, so the deal is you also want to set the stage in your 20s, Jim. 30s, 40s, and 50s for colon cancer risk reduction mm. and take care of your heart and your blood pressure. So that means lots of fruits and vegetables like these blueberries so good. and lots of whole grains, Angela. So one of the things that I suggested to Jeff early on was switch out that white bagel mm. for a 100% whole wheat bagel like these right here and you get more protein, fiber, and good for you nutrients to keep your entire body healthy. These these blueberry donuts they are donuts um can't and, possibly be good for us and absolutely they are because they're made with 100 percent whole wheat flour and they have lemon and tons of the blueberries you that have the polyphenols you can have this one right here I, take a little bite off take, yeah go that? ahead that's got the cream cheese if you okay. want cream cheese on your bagel i'm oh, fine with that oh, so these are so easy to one make bite and they only take eight to 10 minutes to Stop bake. And it. I love them because they are filled these. with the nutrients that you need to keep your blood pressure down, your heart healthy, and the polyphenols in the blueberries mm. can help with brain health. And now my husband, Jeff, is just obsessed with polyphenols and he keeps going on and on about the blueberries, but it's actually in nearly all fruits and vegetables. And he wants you to make those all the time? Oh yeah, I have to go home and make them in case you guys eat all oh of gosh, them today. Oh they're so good. <laughs> Thank you. All right, so I came, you had me guess, mm -hmm. upper row, is someone Daniel or Jim? And bottom row is someone. Yeah. So who you, do you at think home? Is who? You at home? Do you think this is Daniel's row? Lucky Charms, um, Rice Checks, Wheat Checks, Chocolate, more bo grape nuts, fruity pebbles, raisin bran. Yeah. I flipped him and you, I had him wrong. You had him wrong. So the top row with the frosted mini wheats, the uh, Lucky Charms, and the chocolate checks is Jim. And the bottom row with the grape nuts, the fruity pebbles, and the raisin bran are Daniel. And here's what I love about both of them, and my husband included. They actually picked two of their three cereals have 100% whole grain. Oh, and who knew? And I want here. men and everyone to enjoy whatever breakfast cereal they like even if it has sugar because it's fortified with vitamins and minerals that you need as you age including b12 which we have a harder time uh, uh absorbing as we age plus you're going to put milk on it yes so you get the protein and the calcium for your bones Skin. all right no do and, i do vitamin d so he does <laughs> well, and daniel they all have vitamin d and i just want to say for parents out there that if you have children once they reach the age of two it is recommended by the american academy of pediatrics that we all go on 1% or fat-free milk. Okay. So my husband, he switched to 1% yeah. milk to keep the fat down for better heart health. That so probably makes sense to how I feel now compared yeah. to when I used to drink this stuff when I was yeah. much younger because yeah. it's a lot harder to di digest. Yeah, you, yeah, you probably would be better off going to the 1% or the fat-free. Okay. So All the same protein, calcium, and yes. vitamin D. All right, so we're out of time. We're going to find the recipes and more with great advice from Kim by heading over to fox59.com slash recipes. Jim